Welcome to V Top 10 and today's video we're counting down the 5 Samuel the Nigerian Nightmare Peter Best Knockouts. Number 5. Samuel Peter vs Yanki Diaz. On January 22, 2005, Peter beat Yanki Diaz by TKO at 054 in round 5 of 12 and 1 vacant IBF USBA heavyweight title. Differed dramatically. Did Peter hurt Lopez with that punch? Because he did the right thing because he got spit around and he lost his vision for a minute. So he took a knee so that he didn't get caught with something unsuspected. Oh. And Peter lands the right hand. Oh. And the left hook hurt Diaz. Peter trying to counter inside. Oh. Caught him with the left hook there. Did Sam. anything on the canvas and I didn't see anybody put one in his mouth. The round was really quick though. Ted. Hard body shot by Diaz. Peter countering over the top. Well certainly it's it's a grueling kind of fighting he's having to do. And he goes to the Association of Boxing Commissions. He must take two points. And I, I keep calling him Yankee <laughs> Lopez. Thank you, Roy. Hard right hand landed by Peter. Roy. No he doesn't. But maybe it won't matter. If he gets chances like that, the fight would be over. As Diaz gets tireder, he begins to lose control of his footwork. And that gives Peter more clean punch opportunities. Three straight right hands there. Diaz is in trouble. You don't want to do that too often. You don't want to have to keep doing it throughout the round. And those body shots aren't helping, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Hard Lampard, Wes Wolf, telling his fighter, Yankee Diaz, if you don't land some of your own shots to the body, you're going to get knocked out. With each succeeding knockdown, the excitement for Peter grows. Yeah, but one thing about this kid has a hard time adjusting to going through a round. Once fatigue sets in, they have a hard time. Stopping the fight. Ryan Gary. Number 4. Samuel Peter vs. Doris Sykes. On July 2, 2005, defending WBC and ABF and IBF USBA heavyweight titles Peter beat Taurus Sykes by knockout at 207 in round 2 of 12 and 1 WBA and ABA heavyweight title. Boy lives in Vegas, maybe he's in a It's rubbing off. The feeling is Sykes simply doesn't have anything. There's the jab for Sykes, and that's what it is. He wants to get these rounds. Sykes from the same uh, area that produced Mike Tyson and Riddick Bowe, the Brownsville section of Brooklyn. How timely it happened almost to the day. Before beyond boxing, that's for sure. You know, great advice in the corner by both. There's a combination of who could really punch, obviously makes him more marketable and TV viewer friendly. Yeah, but that's a very, very important weapon. Now, he just backs straight up into the ropes. That is exactly what his corner is. Number 3. Samuel Peter vs. Jeremy Williams. On December 4, 2004, Peter B. Jeremy Williams by knockout at 0 27 in round 2 of 12 and 1 vacant WBC and ABF heavyweight title. Very laid back and not very active, but already. Victories have happened in the first round 13 KOs within 2, 14 of his 7 is 36 KOs within 3. Unbeaten his last seven fights. And Peter can throw those right hands, he'll be a problem. But winning from his own right hand, but then Williams expected. Uh, the question is, can he hurt Peter when he gets it? And will he get nailed by Peter? That's really a mistake. That's not his best punch. Uh, he doesn't want to get caught in a battle of hook in a close one. Final seconds of the opening round. Everett from nearby Long Beach is a straight right hand by Peter. Favorite, Williams, they fought, they sparred, a terrific trainer, John Bray. John Bray was a very good amateur. And the teams have both gave good advice to their fighters. Oh, oh, my oh, oh, over there, come on, Sam. Oh. Number 2. Samuel Peter versus Julius Long. On April 28, 2006, 
Peter beat Julius Long by knockout at 235 in round 1 of 12 and won vacant WBC and ABF heavyweight title. He can hit you. You don't want to walk forward because then you do that. You get right into the punching. See Reed and the new team working with Sam Peter wants to see. They've been in training and obviously 200 punches around. And there's a right hand. That didn't take long, did it, Teddy? Well, there's no jab coming from long. He's allowed in that front door. And when he can get in that front door and he can punch like Peter, okay, he's Julius Long, giving up his height by coming forward. But you don't want to see him doing that going backwards because he's not set on his feet. Then is setting himself to deliver that one chance, that thunderbolt. He's moving his feet. This is what Long has to do. Set himself right there and punch as Peter is in his range. Before Peter does that at this fight, just to see not what the end result is going to be, but to see whether or not Peter has improved. Against those ropes, a right hand just crashed home, and Long is in real bad shape. Number one, Samuel Peter versus Oleg Muskev. On March 8, 2008, Peter beat Oleg Muskev by TKO at 2:56 in round six of 12 and one WBC heavyweight title. Get in and out. We know that Muskev has been told Peter has produced some picture book knockouts. Hard right hand by Peter, and he follows it with another right hand. And you can see the improvement now. On the other hand, my business. So he slowed down on that plan for the moment. The three knockdowns of Vladimir Klitschko in Atlantic City. Well, that was really a part of history, but I don't think that's the case anymore. He catches Moskayev and wobbles him with the right hand there. Moskayev's badly hurt. And now Peter is just unloading in the corner. Moskayev not firing back but blocking were two even rounds. With left jab, Moskayev comes back with a one, two, three, takes the right hand. Hard right hand by Moskayev, and Peter returns. Lawsuit now against the governing body, which is sanctioning the butt. What? Fish shot. Tremendous shot taken by him. overhand right too late. While the fighter has already moved forward, that's where the well, under in an exhausted situation as compared to Peter. Hard right, but he's hurt. Knocks Moskayev back. Moskayev goes right back into the ring. Now he is momentarily out on his feet. And Sam take. Peter lands on the back of the head twice more. Moskayev tries to show. Hard shot to the face. He's fighting very smart this time. He's not just throwing a lot of punches, a lot of his punches. Amazing that Moskayev is still up. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.